I noticed that we only have like three questions on the paper. Is is that we only got three questions? No, 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 no. We have hundreds and hundreds of questions in oh, a no list way. that are all categorized, and I'm just highlighting them as we answer them. Hey, and welcome to another Wednesday Q&A with the Perkins Builder Brothers. I'm Eric Perkins. This is my little brother, Jamie Perkins. And today we've got some questions that you have asked us via email, YouTube comments, and otherwise about design and architecture. How about that? You know, our dad is actually a real architect. <laughs> Legit, like actually Virginia Tech grad. So this is something we've kind of grown up with, design and architecture, um, partly uh, against our will, I would say. <laughs> well, it's a necessity. Yeah, so our dad was always designing houses in the room directly above our bedroom was his architecture office. And uh, I think it's a great topic, very interesting. Let's get into the questions you guys have sent us. Okay, we do these totally off the cuff. Uh, Jamie has never even seen these questions. You're gonna get our off the cuff answer. Actually, you can read the first question. I'm gonna read you the first question right. and see what you have to say about it. <laughs> this is from Jeffrey, emailed us asking, what design software do you use and how long did it take to learn how to use the program? Okay, so to this point, I'm the main uh, designer using a computer-aided design CAD program and I use Chief Architect software. It's called Home Designer Pro and it's probably a couple year old model. It probably cost roughly $1,000 when I bought it a few years ago. And I think it's pretty great for the price and it probably took me hundreds of hours <laughs> of my time to learn how to use it efficiently. And Jamie's actually working on some stuff like this right now. Yeah, I guess it's just it's just about time for me to, you know, get on the wagon here or something. Yeah. I don't know. So I've been pencil drawing, drawing houses, designing houses ever since I was in high school, so back in the year of 2000, I would say. And I love my drafting table yeah, and my and drafting machine. you have machine. a real drafting machine. It which is. I'll, I'll put a picture up that if you don't know what that is. It is, and that's a really easy, cool. uh, inexpensive way to get started into drafting that will make you way better like really fast if you're yep. just used to using a straight edge and trying right. to hold it. So that's one good thing, but I am right now beginning to use SketchUp. And a lot of people use that, by the way. Yeah, SketchUp. To, to design things. Uh, SketchUp is, it's a very easy to learn program. And it's, I, I don't know, I don't want to say it's for beginners because- yeah, They it, have a free version though. There's a free version, great. but it does have very advanced features also. Yeah. So I'm going to be using the pro version, which you have to pay about $300 a year to subscribe because there's online content you have access to. Mm -hmm. uh, lots of things about residential you have access to. Uh, cabinets, mm -hmm. pre-made doors and windows mm -hmm. by all kinds of manufacturers. You just drag and drop those into your designs so you don't spend all your time trying yep. to design a window because yeah. some, somebody already did that. And I think yeah. your programs yeah, have so, a lot of things. Yeah, like let's that. jump back into the Home Designer Pro, yeah. which we actually use for the, the houses we build. It does have a lot of those built-in things like cabinetry, doors, windows, mm -hmm. furniture. And that's why I like it because it's <clears> simple <throat> enough to do what I need, but not so overcomplicated that it bogs me down. Um, and, and going from that, from pencil drawings, <laughs> which we used to do, was a huge leap forward because now we can revise plan, uh, plans quickly yep. uh, without erasing the whole drawing and um, erasing through the paper. And, yeah. and then also we can do 3D walkthroughs and 3D modeling easy because clients don't wanna buy a house that they've never really seen what it looks like. You, yeah. you wouldn't go buy a dress without looking at it, right? I wouldn't buy a dress. But anyway, <laughs> that is really true. And people almost expect it nowadays for you to be able to do that. Yeah. And they are not always as good at imagining what something will look like as somebody who builds houses every day. They're used to taking a mm -hmm. flat print of drawings, converting it into a real life full size house. So your, your average person yes. doesn't do that all the time. They cannot just visualize it, you know? Um, so it's very handy to, it is. to help describe what the house is going to look like in its entirety mm -hmm. to a client client, and help us kind of make a sale. Yep. And I won't be making piles of eraser <laughs> dust like I used to. Yeah. All right. We talked too long. Let's go to the next question. All right. Our second question for today is coming from Christopher via email. His question is, do you have any experience using plans from an online plan website? I'm assuming you can purchase an engineered set of plans there so, okay all right okay um we have never straight up used a full set of plans off of a website 
Uh, we have had customers who have already purchased plans like that, or they come to us with the kind of preliminary, like they give you the free prints of just the stuff that you couldn't really build a house from. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't have all the exact dimensioning, but it does have an, a scaled floor plan. An idea. An idea. And I usually tell people, if they call me and say, hey, I'm looking at these plans online, should I just buy them? I say, nah, don't waste your money because we're gonna need to change a lot of things. I already see things that, are, you know, we're not gonna wanna build like this plan is drawn. And every house that we build is custom designed for the house site it's going on. Yeah, and so that's a, that's a big thing around us is that, you know, we're on the side of mountains, so some sprawling house plan won't fit usually, or the shape of it doesn't fit, or or the view windows are like facing the bank or something weird. Mm -hmm. and, and we usually tell people, hey, if you need to modify a plan that's online, just have us just draw it to start with because it's gonna be such a headache to go back and forth with someone over a phone instead of sitting down with me in person who's who's been physically to your site mm -hmm. and knows the dimensions and the view and everything about it. it one other thing though. Oh, what actually. Is, oh, what's that? Um, a lot of those plans, you know, in my opinion, are not very efficient to build. You'll have a house that's like, 46 foot seven and three eighths long. And it's like, why didn't you make it 48 feet? Cause, yeah. cause that's divisible by four and eight, yep. which is the dimensions of the all the lumber you're buying by the way. So you're just gonna cut off like one foot three inches of every plate and every piece of subfloor and every piece of roof sheathing yep. and throw it in the trash instead of having one foot three more inch house. Does that make sense? It no. does make sense. So we try to design houses that are increments of two, four, or eight feet in almost every direction because it's mm -hmm. more efficient and faster to build. Yep. There's more we could say, but I feel like we could talk so long on yeah. this topic that we could just, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. We're going to run out of, we're going to run out of camera space. All right. So let's shut it off and go to question number three. Okay. Ismail. Sorry if we mispronounced it. Forgive me if it's, if it's something different. Ismail said, how much detail do you like to see on the plans for residential projects? Do you like every little detail or a builder set that has less detail? Okay. You want to tackle that one? I will tackle that one. Um, given that we design all of our own plans. Mostly. And, uh, well, mostly. Probably 90% of them in the last five years. Okay. And given that we know that we're going to be the ones building it, we do leave out a lot of detail that would be included if you purchase a set of plans. That's right. I think if you purchase a set of plans, I don't know how many pages it might be. Could be a lot. It could be 15 to 20 pages. It could be. It could be more. I think that normally we may have four pages. Or five. Maybe five. We usually five. have a floor plan, elevations, maybe one section drawing. Yep. And that's it. That's all we need because we've we've built a lot of houses, and um, you know how to nail the studs to the plate uh, doesn't need to be detailed for us. How how to cut a rafter seat doesn't need to be detailed to us. Mm -hmm. So you know for uh, maybe a more beginner builder, you might want every detail like a very detailed plan. That could uh, whereas be we enjoy the freedom, I think, uh, of not having to do it exactly how a plan says because it may not be the best way in our opinion or may be totally inefficient uh, compared to the sizing of the lumber we can buy. Yeah. We had <laughs> we had a plan one time that I swear we could have put three posts in the basement and one girder oh, and man. supported the whole floor system. And we ended up with like 19 posts. There's, there's no telling. And, and like 10 different LVL girders and, and, and all these hangers. It was engineered. And it was engineered so we had to do it Exactly. We didn't like have that. a choice. And every time the homeowner wanted to change something or add something, w there was a saying that we developed at that house. You remember what it was? No. <laughs> well, the it, it was, no, there's a beam there. Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> there's a beam there. No, we can't do that. There's a beam there, yeah. see? Because there were beams everywhere. It looked, yeah. it, it looked and ridiculous. And it was totally expensive and totally uh, not efficient. And it took us a lot longer than it would have mm -hmm. if we could have just said, hey, man, this doesn't make any sense. Just just put a beam down the middle, break your floor joists on it. We'll go well, on with our day. Well, beam. Well, beam, well, boom, we're done. You know, also um, a, a set of plans from an engineer might include, uh, or an architect, all the kitchen cabinet drawings. That's right. It might involve uh, an elevation view of every 
wall that has cabinets, including probably built-ins or fireplaces, and potentially like closet shelving, mm -hmm. bathroom vanities, shower details, and things like that. I mean, it could go on and yeah. on, really. And, and so, you know, that's fine and all, but we do like to have a little more flexibility to kind of do what makes sense, I would say. Um, sometimes the homeowner doesn't know that the architect has designed them $50,000 built-ins in their living room. The way they're designed <laughs> in mm -hmm. the drawings might be ridiculously hard to build. Yep. And we could say, well, we could do this a lot easier way and save you a bunch of money. And you'll still love it. Yeah. So, so nothing against people who are drawing these extremely detailed plans. I mean, it takes a lot of work. A lot of things. And if we had to design a house and then hand off those plans for someone else to build who would never talk to us and never be able to ask us questions or anything, it would need to include all that information. You're right. But since it's in-house, we don't, we don't need to waste all of our time drawing the things that we know how to build. That's right. P basically. I think that's a good summary of, yes. of what this whole 10 minutes of talking was about. I know that was long. Yeah. <laughs> well, so. I hope you guys learned something today about building an architecture or design an architecture, or at least what we think about it anyways. What we're saying is not uh, the gospel. It's not uh, totally what everybody does, but it's how we operate in our very small custom home building you know, business here in a rural part of Western North Carolina. So uh, take everything we say uh, with that in mind, and I hope you guys have a great rest of your Wednesday. Make sure to join us back here next Wednesday and every Wednesday for our Wednesday Q&A. You can leave a comment with a question, or if you want to email us, perkinsbuilderbros at gmail.com. Sounds fun. Sounds fun. It will be fun. We'll see you next time. See ya. Well, you know, this could take like decades to answer hundreds of questions. That's the plan. Okay. All right. As long well, as you know that. Okay, no, I'm good with it. I mean, <laughs> it just take a while. It's no yeah, big deal. Yeah, it will. Okay. So we'll just keep plugging down the list. All right. Keep the questions coming because we don't want to run out. We won't run out. Um, can we be done reading questions and like go to Taco Bell or something? Yes. Okay. Great idea. <laughs>